post-spawn dock fishing. Post-spawn dock fishing, everyone thinks about going offshore, going to ledges, going to points, that fish go off all the time, and they do. But before they go, they stop on docks a lot of the time. A lot of your biggest females that just come off the spawn, they go straight to a dock, they recover there, they feed up, and then they make a move back to ledges, offshore, they suspend in timber, and all those great summertime patterns that we really enjoy catching them on. I wanna show you a couple of things that I do post-spawn to catch the biggest fish that I target. First one is, I will cover a tremendous amount of water with a buzz bait. This is a medium-sized rage bug on the buzz bait. 3 8 ounce buzz bait, great for covering water, great for getting around docks. You can skip, you can pitch, you can cast long distances with this bait. And what you're targeting is those dock poles, the outside edges a lot of times, and that little bit of vegetation that'll be around the outside edge of a dock. That is a huge, huge player. Everybody thinks that when bass come off the bed that they're automatically gonna feed down and that they're gonna feed on you know, things that are on the bottom. That's why a lot of guys go off and drag Carolina rigs and football jigs and they get there. But before they get there, they feed up. Feeding up meaning blow ups, big explosions, big bass, a lot of fun. That's why you'll see me throw a buzz bait a lot around docks, going down the bank in between docks, but I'm primarily targeting those docks. You'll know with the medium rage bug, that I'm getting a lot of flat surface there. I'm able to skip that buzz bait. I'm able to get it to ride back to the top really fast. And it's got those pinchers on the back that kick that give it the same action as anything else you wanna throw. Some guys will use a frog, but I've found that the medium sized rage bug is truly one of the best trailers that I've ever put on the back of a buzz bait. The rod that I'm gonna throw with that, this is a seven foot one medium heavy rod. This is the Pro X Xfinity Pro rod, my signature series rod available in Walmart. This is an $80 rod, 20 pound test fluorocarbon line. I really like fluorocarbon line on a buzz bait. It just delays that reaction bite so you don't yank that bait away from those fish when they blow up on it. Hyper Mag reel, seven five to one, just a good high speed retrieve reel. What you're gonna do is retrieve that bait back. And again, as soon as a fish blows up on it, you're gonna take up that line. You've got a seven foot one medium heavy rod that you can drive that hook into that fish and get them in the boat. Great, great combo, great setup, all around rod and reel right there with a great buzz bait. Secondly, I'm going with the KVD Sexy Dog. KVD Sexy Dog, a great post-spawn bait. This bait draws tremendous bites. It draws really big bites. And that's what we're fishing for all the time is those big females that are sitting out there sunning, recovering from being on the spawn for three weeks, a month sometimes, and that is a tremendous bait to get those bites on. A lot of bites, big bites, all of the above. This is actually a 610 medium heavy rod. It's a top water rod, it's a signature series rod. And what I do, this is a really special part. This is 30 pound braided line. It's our tour grade braided line that goes straight to a 15 pound monofilament leader. Now my monofilament leader is only about 10 inches long, okay? And that just keeps that braided line when you're working that bait back and forth from biting into those hooks on that bait because you're walking that bait back and forth so hard. That is a huge, huge key. So 30 pound braided line to a 15 pound monofilament leader. This is also 7.5 to 1 Hyper Mag Reel. And like I said, 6.10 rod, you want that short rod so you can get those quick, sharp twitches, make that bait really walk back and forth. Two of my really key baits. Now, if you're noticing that you're getting blow-ups or you're getting followers and you're not getting those fish to commit but they're following it, just say that they wake your buzz bait or one comes out and slaps at your, at your dog and you don't get it. That's when I will reach down and I will have a 4.75 rage swimmer tied on with a belly hook, no weight, just a belly hook. And what I'll do is I'll have this on the exact same rod, a seven foot one with 20 pound fluorocarbon. I'll skip this bait up there where that fish missed it, or I'll skip it in those holes on that dock or under those docks in those, around those poles. And I will slow wind this back. What this does is it travels really high in the water column, almost subsurface making a wake. And majority of the time, more often than not, those fish that won't commit to those topwater baits will absolutely crush this rage swimmer. It doesn't get enough credit. It's one of those type baits that it's a really niche that time of the year, really big fish magnet, something that I truly believe in. And I always have tied on post spawn when I'm fishing docks in the area. These are a few of my favorite baits that I keep tied on when I'm around the post spawn. One, if not all these baits come into play for me and I guarantee they will for you too.